guys, this is Haley, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I care for my rabbit, Lulu. So Lulu is my nine-year-old Dutch mix. She is a spayed female, and she is now considered a senior. Because she is a senior rabbit, she does have a lot more health issues than my other bunnies. If you guys wanna learn more about senior rabbit care, go ahead and check out my last video that I posted. It'll be in the iCards up above. So I'm gonna be talking a lot about Lulu's health and her health-related issues due to being a senior. Her general care that I give her, like her diet and all of that type of thing is basically the same. It's the same thing I do with all my other bunnies. So I'm mainly just going to be showing you what I do for her health related issues. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is her sore hocks. If you guys aren't familiar with sore hocks, I do have a video that I made several years ago. I'll link that in the iCard as well. So the main thing I'm doing to treat this is a chlorhexidine solution. So this is chlorhexidine. This is the liquid itself. It's mainly used with like horse horses and um, I don't know what other animals, I know it's used a lot with horses, but basically it's a type of antiseptic that you can use to like uh, clean wounds and stuff, but it is very potent, I don't know if that's what you'd say, so you do have to d dilute it with water. So I just use 30 ounces of water, which I fill up in this glass container. It's about approximately two of these. And then I also use two tablespoons of chlorhexidine. I also have directions in my sore hawks video on how I do this. I mix up the solution and then I use a sheet or some sort of pillowcase. I'm using a pillowcase right now. It's just a green pillowcase. I soak this in the water and chlorhexidine solution and then I kind of wring it out so that there's like not dripping water on it. And then I fold it in half and have her sit on that underneath this NIC grid little cage. So I have Lulu sit on that solution for about 20 minutes. And then after that, I use one of these cotton rounds. You can get these at like, you can look, get them like basically anywhere. Um, and I soak this in the solution and I actually just keep it pretty soaking wet. And then I kind of take the flap of fur that's covering her hocks and I push it out of the way and apply the solution from the cotton round directly to the hawk itself. I do this twice daily. Another thing that we actually have been exploring with Lulu is something called laser therapy. I believe the type of laser therapy I've done with Lulu is cold laser therapy. Anyways, I did do laser therapy with Lulu and we applied uh, cold laser to her hawks and this just helps um, stimulate and promote healing. Um, I'm not sure on all the science behind it, but there are a lot of articles and a lot of research behind cold laser therapy in humans and in animals. Um, we also did a treatment for her arthritis as well, but it isn't something we're doing regularly as of now. Uh, we're kind of waiting to see uh, if these treatments will work and then if they don't, we'll start doing laser therapy like weekly or whatever. So the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is Lulu's arthritis, and this is something I've gotten a lot of questions about. So the first thing I started noticing with Lulu is she actually started falling over a lot, which I wouldn't have thought that would be a symptom of arthritis. I took a video of it and I showed it to my vet and they actually thought it was spinal degeneration, which is just a, another term for like, arthritis on the spine. So they wanted to put her on a medication called Medicam. Any of you guys who have rabbits or guinea pigs or anything probably are very familiar with this medication. Um, it's basically the go-to pain med for rabbits with GI stasis or any other pain issue as it's fairly safe and you can give uh, quite a bit to bunnies um, safely. So so this is the medication we started her on and she did fairly well for a little bit. She was still having some issues um, like when she groomed herself she would kind of like tip over. So I was just not happy with how you know she was still having issues and such and later she actually started losing function of her back hind leg of course this terrified me i thought she broke her leg and i kind of freaked out but i did go to the vet and we had an x-ray done we actually looked at her arthritis in her back and in her feet and we determined she did not break her leg thankfully it was just arthritis causing pain so she wasn't wanting to use her leg as much so we started her on a medication called uh, gabapentin. This is something that actually humans even 
use, but of course this is a uh, liquid animal version. So in addition to giving gabapentin, we started something called Adequin. So if you guys aren't familiar with Adequin, I definitely wasn't before uh, researching arthritis, but it's just this tiny little bottle right here, and it's full of liquid that is you know, I don't even really know what it is. However, you inject it under their skin and it gets like absorbed into their body. Um, and I believe it helps like lubricate the joints or it helps stop arthritis to keep getting worse. Honestly, I don't really know exactly how it works. I'm sure I'm gonna get like a ton of people in the comments telling me how it works. <laughs> Uh, but I had heard that it helps dramatically with arthritis. So this is something that we recently started Lulu on and it has been helping a ton. Like she went from dragging her back leg around to using it again. Like I was so afraid that she was gonna like go paralyzed or something, but she's shown dramatic improvements with the Adequin shot. So I'm very, very thankful for that. The other thing I am doing for arthritis is I'm trying to do some massage therapy with Lulu. This is something that is kind of difficult to do on some bunnies. Uh, it just depends if your rabbit likes to be touched um, and if they are comfortable with you massaging them. Um, I had a book on rabbit massage and then my sister is actually an equine massage therapist. So I had her read the book and then because she was trained in like um, how much pressure to use and stuff in um, animals. She doesn't know a ton about rabbits, but she was able to implement those into rabbits and uh, kind of taught me some moves to do with Lulu. Anyways, but yeah, I definitely want to start getting more into the massage therapy as it's such an easy and simple thing to do to help her, um, you know, with pain and with you know, lessening arthritis. So that is something we're doing. Again, we're gonna talk about doing cold laser therapy after we finish with the Adequin. Another thing that I'm going to be trying, I think that's the next The next thing I'm gonna try after the Adequin is a supplement. Um, it's basically glucosamine, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's a supplement that a lot of people use in dogs. I think you can use it, I think humans use it as well, but it's basically like Adequin. Um, it's going to be doing the same thing as Adequin, only um, it's an oral supplement. So my doctor wanted to start with the Adequin because it's stronger, uh, but then after that I want to be supplementing with glucosamine. The only other thing I'm doing for Lulu is that I provide her with soft flooring. However, this isn't really any different than what I do with my other bunnies as I just always provide my rabbit soft flooring so but I did want to mention it because it is vitally important for sore hocks and I do think it helps a little bit with the arthritis um, because if you're standing on a very hard floor all day even healthy people get like joint pain from that. I am using something called puzzle mats. You do have to be very careful with any of these bedding options that your bunny isn't eating and ingesting it. Um, so you do kind of have to make sure your bunny isn't doing that. However, Lulu is old enough that she really doesn't even destroy things anymore. So I am very thankful for that. So I cover the puzzle mats with fleece or bed sheets. And then in her upper cage, I do use memory foam mats for her and I put fleece on top. However, I'm actually in the process of making Sherpa cage liners for her. So it's a material called Sherpa. It's supposed to be very, very good for bunnies with sore hocks. So I bought the material and I bought a really nice high quality fleece for the backing of it. So it can be double sided. Um, I'm in the process of making it, I have to sew them and then I'm basically done. So if they are finished before this video goes up, I might like insert a picture or a video of them. However, this is something I'm really excited to use with her as I do think it will be so much softer than just plain fleece. It's also a cage liner, so it will have absorbent material in the middle, which makes it a lot squishier. So that is basically it for Lulu's care. Uh, it may seem kind of complicated as I know a lot of people probably wouldn't want to use needles and inject things into their rabbits, but honestly, if you have a lot of rabbits who've had issues, a lot of the times 
you kind of learn these things because you have to use injections for other reasons. I've had to give penicillin shots multiple times to my bunnies. I've had to give sub-Q fluids. I do want to mention that I was trained by exotic veterinarians. I've had them show me many, many times how to do injections. Um, I've also run all of these treatments by my vet. All of my medications are prescriptions from my vet. Um, so do not do any of these treatments without discussing it with your veterinarian and getting their approval. Um, I did want to make that disclaimer because this is not like a how to treat your rabbit type thing. This is a how I treat my bunny. So I did want to make that clear as honestly my vets are my lifesavers. I could not do any of this without them. I wouldn't know any of this stuff without them. So getting a good relationship with your veterinarian is extremely important. That's basically it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave any comments down below that you guys have. If you have any further questions or further videos you want to see about this type of stuff, leave them down below. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon on a new one. I also noticed that in this whole video I have like this huge mess behind me and I feel like it's not very attractive. <laughs>